Hello everyone, welcome to the Whistling Hermit YouTube channel. Every once in a while we have this uh, Moonology series. Usually we time it a day before uh, a cycle of the moon. And uh, we have divided the readings into four phases of the moon. The new moon, first quarter moon, full moon, and the last quarter moon. Tomorrow, we will November 23, we will be having the new moon in Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio is a water sign and uh, usually we know that the water signs are very much uh, intuitive, very much in touch with their inner world. And somehow when you look at this card, it's like also <clears throat> something that is quite related to intuition, quite related to the inner world. Because uh, in the new moon, oftentimes we only see a very thin line of the moon. And the rest is covered by the shadow of the sun. Okay, um, so what happens is we, at the new moon we only see a very thin crescent of the moon, and because of that, somehow when we look at it, it's like a beginning of a new chapter in our life. We, uh, when we look at the new moon, we could say that a chapter just closed, and uh, when a chapter closes, everything is a mystery. We do not know what new chapter will open. So there is a very thin, very thin crescent of the moon. And when you see that that way, it's like as if we, at the start of a new chapter, we can only get a glimpse of some possibilities, but the whole picture is still a mystery to us. So it's like that also. So when you look at the new moon, it says, go deeper. Okay. So it's like, when something is unknown to us, we tend to research, we tend to read more about it. We go deeper in order to learn more about whatever we would like to understand. So it's the same <clears throat> when it comes to a relationship. If it is a beginning of the relationship, we are interested to know more about the other person. So for us, at the beginning of a friendship or maybe a romantic relationship, the partner or the other person is still a mystery to us and so that we have this desire to know more about them and so we go deeper in the relationship trying to learn more about them so it's like a, a moment of discovery if there's a new project or a, a new uh, inspiration when it comes to your career it's the same thing also for some of us we even study we even go and study uh, take a new course related to the inspiration or the new uh, endeavor that we would like to enter in because everything is still new to us. Every, everything is still a mystery and we still need to learn more about it. So somehow uh, the, the message right now is to go deeper, to learn more about this new chapter that is opening. So it means we need to invest a little bit more time, invest a little bit more effort, to understand more about the new chapter that is opening in our life. Now let us try to read a little bit more on the description in the handbook that accompanies this card. So, New Moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. You are regaining control of a situation that cut deep. Okay, so <clears throat> gaining more of a situation. It's like, uh, yeah, something happened and uh, it's still a very, a very, we still are beginning to learn about the situation. You have moved through your fears and can now see where this issue has come from. So if, in, if before, sometimes there is just complete darkness, now there is a sliver of light. So somehow uh, <clears throat> in the darkness, usually there is fear, but now we can see slowly by slowly where the issue has come from. Okay. Now isn't the time to gloss over the facts. Okay. We need to look closer instead of glossing over them. Rather, it is time for you to face your darkest concerns and go deeper. Your situation may need to crumble before it can be renewed. Magic is called for. It is crucial to stay strong now. Sexually, it is time to reach for true communion with your partner. 
Financially, this is a blessed time to work with someone on a joint venture. It is time to release a grudge. Okay, so yeah. If you have had a painful chapter that has just closed, it's nice to completely let go of it. If you were hurt, instead of holding a grudge, if we can let go, close the chapter, so that we can open up a new chapter, it would be nice. It's like <clears throat> uh, a cup that is full, we empty that cup in order that new things will enter or new things can fill up the cup. You get rid of the old wine and then you refill it with a new wine. So somehow uh, this is the challenge for us and this is maybe the main energy of our reading. So for the new moon in Scorpio, we will provide you three piles to choose from. Pile number one will consist of uh, Lapis Luzuli. Pile number two will be represented by Tiger's Eye. And pile number three will be represented by Red Jasper. So you can pause the video if you want and try to see which of the three crystals resonates with you and if you want to go straight to the pile that you are drawn to you can choose the pile through the uh, timestamps provided for in the description box well let us now go to pile one okay for those of you who have chosen lapis lazuli which is pile one this is your tarot reading Okay, the main energy is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is you are receiving a, a new a gift from the universe. And it's good because it's the start. It's a, it's a new moon. So at the start of the chapter, the universe is giving you a gift. It can be an inspiration because it's a sword. You know? Or it can be a, a new lesson in life. It can be also... Uh, that for some of you, you will be studying a new course. Okay, but uh, right now the universe is giving you a gift, and when the universe gives you a gift, it's usually something that is uh, promising, something that is positive. We will put the main energy here, and then we will try to see what are the cards for you. Pile one. Okay, so we have here the Knight of Wands, the Sun, and the six of wands okay so you are really on fire you see the ones is uh, under the sign of fire the element of fire so the knight of wands and the six of wands uh, symbolizes fire and then the sun also symbolizes it's a card of fire also when you look at it uh, it seems that you are really on fire right now and uh, so Paiwal, you, you are really on fire right now. And you are, yes, starting a journey. It's like you're beginning to start a journey right now. And as you start this journey, you are on fire. And you, your best, you, your uniqueness is, you are not afraid to be who you are as you start this journey. Somehow, uh, it can be a physical journey to foreign lands. Maybe for some of you, it can be in a place where there are pyramids. Uh, at the same time, no, uh, you are going uh, going through this journey or beginning this journey with a certain confidence and you are on fire. At the same time, it seems that you this adventure that you are encountering right now makes you feel young again. We have here the sun and you see here this chat. Again, there is a horse. Okay, so uh, I don't know if horseback riding will be part of your journey's adventure <laughs> okay just try to see if it resonates with you because all throughout these cards there are horses so it can be also that the horses can represent a vehicle so you can be on a uh, land travel you might be 
on off to a land travel no because the horse can also symbolize horse power okay it's like a car with the power horse power okay so it 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 can literally mean that some of you will really have a moment of riding a horse but some of you will be traveling by land most likely okay and uh it will be in varied places and uh for some of you the journey will make you attract the people's attention in fact people will start to 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 appreciate you in the end okay so it's like you're beginning a journey and you are when you as you start the journey you are not afraid to be who you truly are and you are on fire when you start the journey and it seems that you're going to enjoy the journey and be you will feel like you are living the present moment uh you you will have that sense of discovery uh every every uh, event that is happening at in your journey you will cherish them uh, it's like uh, living the present moment this child is enjoying the horses and then you see these sunflowers they are enjoying the warmth of the sun so it's like for some of you you will be very much in touch with nature and you could feel the universe embracing you to the beauty of through the beauty of the places that you will encounter as you go on a journey i don't know why the thought of, of uh, sort of like tourism so it's like uh, you're going there not just for work but also for 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 leisure but uh, for some of you it's like you are on a mission so so for some of you you are going there to do work but as you do your work you are also enjoying so here you see the person is dressed up like a knight no? so you are going on a special mission maybe a special mission that will benefit the whole world okay or benefit humanity and at the same time you will be like a young person enjoying the enjoying also the journey so it's like work and as you do your work you also have leisure but at the same time you will succeed in this mission that you are doing because you set out on fire and then in the end you return on fire and people will recognize you so for some of you it can be a work of a mission or maybe a certain assignment that is entrusted to you by by uh, maybe your boss or your superiors and as you do it you will succeed in doing it and when you return they will recognize the fruits of your labor so somehow this is what we can see right now so at the start of this new moon everything is still a mystery but it doesn't affect you because you are on fire and you just are uh, try to take things as they come you live by the moment you live by the day you just enjoy and and, and face everything you try it by uh, you try to do your your job and also go throughout the journey by living the present moment and you will succeed in the near future people will recognize the fruits of whatever this mission you have set out to do so this is what we can see for you pile one now we will try to see at the start we have here the crescent of the moon so at the start of your this new chapter that you are beginning right now let us see what we can expect so this is a, a sort of um, a reflection card with regards to the new moon the night sky is a dignified black princess freckled with the stars get lost in her beauty to find it in your darkness okay so at the start of your chapter or at the start of this mission that you are beginning to set off for some of you it's really a start of the journey everything is still a mystery but there is a certain beauty in it when you see the crescent moon and also the stars that scatter in the sky usually when the moon is not yet too bright we see more of the stars and that's so beautiful it makes the the night sky more interesting so somehow also at the start of the journey you only see glimpses of the possibilities of this new chapter that is opening before you and so it makes it more interesting to you because you have this joy of discovery this joy of learning new things the joy of beginning so uh get lost in the beauty of the adventure get lost also in the beauty of the places that you will be 
visiting and uh, in this mystery you try to find the beauty in this process of discovering this new chapter that is unfolding before you now here we will try to see somewhere in the middle when the moon is already full so maybe in this journey or in this chapter this is the the, the part where that is most exciting uh, it's like the crux of the the chapter you no know? uh, let us see what we can expect somewhere around the middle of this journey those who first invented and then named the constellations were storytellers what it changed was the way people read the night sky okay so um, I feel that as you go through it and the story unfolds in your adventure it would be nice also to share it so for some of you uh, maybe you are video bloggers for some of you maybe it will be nice to document this new mission that you're undergoing if you are journeying for some of you maybe one of the things that will allow people to recognize the efforts that you've done is to make sure that you should document it so for some of you it can be a spontaneous video blogging as you journey you try to record it you try to take snapshots or maybe take video clips of it and you try to document it uh, you use mass communications in doing it and i think it is vital right now because you are like a storyteller so as you as this chapter unfolds or as this journey unfolds it might be nice for you to relate the adventure that you are undergoing not just showing them the places but also maybe sharing how you feel how you are experiencing the process or the journey so it's like uh, when you tell the story of this thing that this chapter that is unfolding in your life somehow you are also bringing the people to journey with you in this mission or this endeavor that you are setting on to do now what will happen in the end or near the end where we can see already uh, people uh, recognizing the val value or the the success that you are the value of what you have done and also the success that you have accomplished okay aim for the moon if you miss you may hit a star okay so it's as if the universe is saying give it your best whatever this new endeavor that you are beginning right now you give it for the best aim for the moon I remember my un my uh, uncle used to tell me, for example, if you're going to take an examination, aim for being the top, so that if you will not make it to the top, you are still somewhere around the top 10 or top 20, like that. So you aim for the star or aim for the moon, and hopefully, if you miss the moon, you might hit the stars. Or aim for something very high, if you miss that, that that uh that target that you have you will still some you will still be somewhere up there and when you aim for the stars or you aim for the moon uh, success is there people will recognize the achievements that you do so i think the secret for this one is to really be on fire and give it your best aim for excellence and when you aim for excellence then you will be somewhere within there okay at the end and people will recognize whatever endeavor you have done so this is what we can see for you pile one so i hope this has helped you right now in your present life situation now uh, we will go to the next pile if you are interested you can still continue so we will now go to pile two okay for those of you who have chosen pile two which is represented by tiger's eye this is your tarot reading our main energy is the nine of pentacles okay so uh, we see here a feminine energy that is very confident 
and very prosperous. Prosperous, you see a lot of pentacles there. She's also very productive. You see a lot of fruits coming out from there. I think it's uh, grape fruits coming from the grapevine. So uh, you seem to be piled to, you seem to be very productive right now, and you seem to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. At the same time, you have time also to uh, nurture your inner self. You see, uh, to take care of Raven, to be a, uh, a falcon, to take care of falcons, to, to be a falconer, this is sort of like a, a very, very uh, challenging ho hobby. You take care of the falcon, you train the falcon, so somehow you seem to, uh, the falcon can symbolize uh, being in touch with your intuition because usually the falcon, the, the head is usually covered, so they are usually in darkness and somehow it means like uh, uh, they are given more opportunities to be in contemplation. So somehow uh, for some of you, uh, pile two, maybe you are really dedicating uh, specific moments for uh, intuitive work, also for uh, nurturing your inner self. So this is the main energy that we can find for you. We're going to put the main energy here and then we will try to see what are the cards for you. We have here the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have here the Six of Wands. Okay, so Pentacles. So it seems that uh, career success is with you. With the Page of Pentacles, it seems that at the start of this uh, new moon, at the start of this cycle of the moon, is that you receive an inspiration that will flourish into success in the near future. Uh, here, it starts only with an inspiration. And for some of you, maybe you will try to study for some of you, you might take formal studies in order to learn more about this new inspiration that you have. If you notice in the field here, uh, some of the lands are already started to be cultivated, but it's just beginning. And there are more of the trees, the rest and the, the other, the field are just filled with grasses. But you can see already that uh, part of the land is already being cultivated here. So it's like it's really in the beginning of an inspiration. You are starting to do some work in it. For some of you, maybe you are start, starting to study about this new inspiration that you have learned. So some of you might take formal studies so that you will succeed in the near future. Now, in the middle, somewhere along the way, uh, as, as, this new, as this cycle unfolds, no, as this new inspiration unfolds, you would see that a greater part of the land is already cultivated. So it's already cultivated. So it started with just a small patch of land. Here, almost the whole part of land is already cultivated and you are dressed up to do the work. So it seems that you have finished already learning about this new inspiration and you are now beginning to implement what you have learned. Now it's going to take a long time because it's taking care of a field. When you take care of a field, you cultivate the field first and then afterwards you put the seed and then you wait for the seed to grow and for you to flourish. So it's going to take some time with this new inspiration. But as you can see, also this person is dressed like a knight. So he's out on a quest. He's out on a quest. So somehow whatever this inspiration is, it uh, will require uh, taking risks. It will require really giving yourself. It's like also looking at it as sort of like a new adventure that you are setting out to. And because it is a quest, so for some of you, it can be something, it can be really going out and uh, going out into the world and really doing something. And then you will be coming back to from where you, because you will be setting out. And when you return, you will be already returning as if somebody who has already succeeded in your quest and people will start to recognize you. Now this is going to be a long journey. As you can see this knight is really dressed for a long journey and he somehow he's looking at the inspiration. So uh, whatever this new inspiration is uh, that you have right now, it is something that you constantly think of and maybe some, something that you constantly try to see how you can improve on. But it's going to take a long time because yeah, it, if it is related to the tilling of the land, it's going to take some time. 
and also when you're going on a quest it's also going to take some time so whatever this inspiration you are having right now it might take some time but what promises is that in the end you will really succeed and people will recognize the success that you have and you see here this one is ready to work at the end he is dressed already for celebration so uh, after all these efforts that you will be exerting to learn and also to apply what you have learned in the end you will reap the benefits of all your efforts now we will try to read some uh, reflection cards here uh, we will start with the new moon so uh, we will try to see what will happen uh, what can we learn more with regards to this new beginning this uh, as you begin this new endeavor the moon is a friend for the lonesome to talk to okay so usually when you start something new you start it alone like for example because somehow uh, you are beginning an inspiration that at this time you are the one who can see it it reminds me of the story of this dog who saw a rabbit running so this dog started running after the rabbit at first it was only this dog who was running after the rabbit after a while other dogs saw him running after the rabbits and so this other dog started joining him sooner or later there are a pack of dogs running after the rabbit but in the end because the other dogs were just running after the pack of dogs and they didn't see the rabbit sooner or later some of those who were running with the pack slowly disappeared and uh, gradually this dog who really saw the value of the inspiration later on when the others became tired they stopped running after the rabbit or stopped running after the dog who was running after the rabbit in the end it was only this dog who was running after the rabbit and finally he caught the prize and in the end it's like that also because you know this inspiration at this at the beginning of the journey you might feel alone but later on people will start to see the value the value of what you could see they will sooner or later see what you are saying what you have seen so sometimes they might even ask you and then you explain to them and then they realize yes it's true and so sooner or later you are not too alone anymore and people will start to join you with you but in the end because you are the ones who you are the one who first sought the inspiration usually the recognition will come to the person who saw it first okay so it's like that now uh, unless there are some things that would be happened but it seems like the direction will be like that it's as if the universe is saying it at the start you might feel alone but the moon is a friend for the lonesome to talk to for me the moon symbolizes uh, the mystery that surrounds this new inspiration knowing that you can only see a glimpse of the possibilities of this one will give you the energy and the inspiration to work on it it's like when you constantly talk to the moon in your lone loneliness it's like this page of pentacles that is constantly working on this inspiration you even if people do not understand this inspiration that you have your inspiration itself the one that you constantly think of will be your consolation because you could see the possibilities of that inspiration so somehow for me the moon symbolizes the inspiration that the page of pentacles is looking on and also the knight of pentacles is looking on now we have here in the full moon part that is somewhere in the near the climax of the story okay so as the story unfolds and things are already getting better there is a side of the moon which we never see but that hidden half is a potent uh, is as potent a factor in causing the ebb and flow of the earth's tide as a part of the moon which is invisible okay so um as the moon becomes full or as your project starts to evolve even faster it will affect the different aspects of your life just as the full moon affects the tides when just as the tides are affected when the moon is full the tides rise becomes stronger when the moon is full it's the same also when your inspiration starts to evolve and the effects of this new 
endeavor that you started starts to to unfold itself no the benefits you will start to feel the benefits of it and the people around you also will start to see the benefits of it and the people around you will start to see also uh, how beautiful this inspiration is because right now the fullness of the inspiration is finally presenting itself so uh, if before it's so subtle that people do not notice it now it will catch more attention okay finally let us try to see at the last quarter moon okay i don't know this is a sort of like a gibbous moon okay anyway this is when the moon starts to to fade okay our half will be seen because this is the full moon already it started with a crescent moon then full moon now the one is a half moon so somewhere somewhere already after the full moon when uh, it's starting to 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 wax is it to wax to wing okay <laughs> starting to wing it's at the beginning it waxes and then at the end it wanes okay so here we have have they built cities on the moon another boy asked hopefully we left some garbage and a flag there <laughs> in the 60s but that's about it okay so yeah well at the end of the day i mean like for example uh they talked about the first time that the humankind was able to step on the moon okay it was a big event and it affected the whole world it's like here when the knight of pentacles finally uh making uh this project a reality okay and what happens is that uh we these people who are talking about the going to the moon or the first man landing in the moon uh they were trying to assess already what happened after so uh, the other boy said oh did they build cities there okay so uh the boy was so positive and saying wow did they do grand things there and then the the man who said it was a little bit uh, realistic <laughs> he said well we left some garbage and a flag there in the 60s but that's about it okay so maybe this time at the end yes you might require a certain success but there might be a need for you to look back to and try to see where you could still improve on something like that i guess it's something like for example if this is an endeavor that will still continue in the future it's good also to look back and try to see where we could have done better okay where we could have improved a little bit more so it's like uh, because at the end when you succeed already it's good to look back and reflect by hindsight the things that we could have improved more the things that we should not have done okay the things that we should avoid because we can use it again in the future as we continue with what this successful endeavor may be okay so it's like by it's good also to reflect at the end of the cycle to try to see the things that we could improve on in the near future so this is what we can see for you pile two i hope that, that this has helped you uh in your present situation and uh let us now go to pile three. Okay, we are now in pile three for those of you who have chosen Red Jasper. This is your tarot reading. For our main energy we have the queen of swords okay we have somebody who is in a high position somebody who is uh, very confident somebody who knows how to implement things somebody who is able to give love unconditionally but at the same time requires other people also to give love in return she has good boundaries at the same time she's very intuitive you see here butterflies in her crown so this is somebody a person who is at the process also of undergoing transformation so for some of you maybe you are undergoing spiritual ascension also you are very much in touch with the angels with your spirit guides and yes you are undergoing transformation again there's a butterfly here 
you are a person who have undergone experiences in life like which can be represented by by the clouds which means that you have uh, faced a lot of challenges also in the past but also the sky is beginning to clear so uh, it's, it's it's as if yes you you might have undergone recently some trials but now things are clearing and getting better but you are uh, somebody who is proactive and is in, in in control of one's life situations at this present time so this is our main energy we put it here and now we'll try to see what the other tarot cards will tell us okay so we have here the chariot okay and then we have here the knight of cups and then finally we have here the nine of pentacles it seems that for some of you you are going on a journey and it's a journey out of the city and somehow this journey will be something related to like uh, a search for the holy grail so for some of you maybe it's on sort of like a pilgrimage or for some of you it's like uh, taking a break from a very hectic work schedule and uh, you just want to spend more time out of your work sort of like a change of perspective or a change of environment so it is something that is close to nature because you can see here a river some uh, mountains and then so it seems that you're going out to really to the suburbs or going out on on a vacation for some of you, you know and uh, for some of you it's uh, a combination of leisure and work because you are still working you are still wearing an armor but at the same time uh, as you go on this work uh, yeah again here working an armor so it can be a sort of like a, a a journey that is part of work but at the same time also it's an opportunity for you to nurture yourself and also spend more time uh, getting in touch with nature and maybe deepening your intuition your inner journey uh you are as the main energy shows you are somebody who is very intuitive somebody who's very much in touch with her inner world and somebody who is able to do their work well so yeah even if it is work for you it's an opportunity for you also to to further deepen your spiritual journey and i feel that yes you will be productive whatever this project you are going to you're going to be successful in it and it will allow you to really be in touch with nature now for some of you maybe you started a project in the peripheries and uh, maybe it can for some of you it can be related to nature conservation whatever it is maybe uh, a certain job that is related to uh, to the preservation of, of of nature it can be but whatever it is uh, you feel at home with this kind of work that, or this kind of project that you are doing you see here she looks very comfortable amidst the work that she is doing she's doing the work but at the same time she has a certain grace in doing it in performing it so you are somebody who really knows your craft and you are as you do this job you seem to be guided also by your intuition so i think you are right now for some of you yes it's like going on a journey and it is something that will benefit you not only in your career but also in your interior journey now we will try to see here at the uh, first quarter moon we will try to see at the start of this journey or this business journey whatever it is which is uh, at the same time also for some of you it can be also a spiritual journey you know how it is sometimes when the universe would give you an opportunity to work and at the same time it gives you also an opportunity to get closer to the divine you know? uh, let's try to see at the start what we can expect okay a new moon teaches gradualness and deliberation and how one gives birth to oneself slowly Patience with small details makes perfect the large a large work, like the universe. What nine months of attention does for an embryo, 40 early mornings, will do for you, uh, for your gradually growing wholeness. Okay, so as you begin this endeavor, um, there is an invitation for you to not be in a hurry 
to slowly work on it and slowly allow it to grow. It's like when you are carrying a baby in your womb, the baby doesn't grow very fast. It takes nine months. So there is a certain process that it has to undergo and you need to nurture it. In those nine months, you have to take good care of the baby so that there will be no mishaps during the development stage. So it's the same time also with your project. You need to work on it. You see here, uh, the Sphinx is there's black and white Sphinx. It's like trying to get uh, the right balance or the right combination so that whatever this endeavor you are doing right now, it will come into fruition. So you need to sort of like take good care of this new project. You try to go to the details and try to anticipate everything. Now it's like when you are going on a journey, you really plan it out before you set out on the journey. And as you go throughout the journey, you are you constantly assess it. So it's like you need to put attention to this new project or this new journey that you are going to begin on. And yeah, it's like when you journey, you have to make sure that there's always fuel. Okay, so there's always fuel in your car. Okay, I don't know why I suddenly thought about it. If you're driving a car right now, please check on your fuel. Okay, now um, it says here, by John Lennon, <laughs> we all shine on like the moon and the stars and the sun. We all shine on. Come on and on and on. Okay, so just continue. Sooner or later, whatever this project you're doing, you will start to shine. Well, yeah, at the fullness, when, when you're already in the climax, when, when your project is already finally evolving to its fullness, uh, it's just natural for you to shine. Here again, you see that the, the knight is contemplating on the cup. It means you still continue to nurture it. Even if everything seems to be already successful, you still need to care for this project so that it will continue to success. So here you see it's, it's, it's on a journey. Finally, you will reach a destination where there is prosperity. So it's like a, a journey on this new endeavor that you are beginning. Finally, we will see near the end what we can expect. Okay, I am as old as the moon and the stars and as young as the trees of the lakes. Okay, I feel this tells us that in the end of this journey or this endeavor or this project, you will have experience already. And this experience will be a jumping board for new endeavors. So you will be as old because of your experience as old as the stars and the moon, but at the same time, you will be young as the trees and the lakes. The trees and the lakes are constantly in motion. It's like you will continue to flourish. You will continue to have more projects, more inspiration from the success that you have had. So from this success, more success can still come afterwards. So this is what we can see for you, pile three. I hope it has given you the insight you need in your present situation. And I look forward to see all of you, whether you are in, you have chosen pile one or pile two or pile three, or you have chosen all of them. Thank you for being with me in this reading, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until that time, may the divine continue to bless your ways.